as built for AutoCAD Feature Data Tutorial Archaeological Excavation After this tutorial, you will be able to use the Structure View to collect and review data, capture new features, and find objects, link features and finds, open linked documents, enable visualizations, and insert a legend. Notice, for demonstration purposes, we will speed the video up in certain areas. If significant changes are made, we will review them and resume the video speed. Start by going to As Built Feature Data tab and click Tutorial Archaeological Excavation. If you do not see the Structure View on the left side, you may turn it on by clicking Structure View On. The drawing shows an excavation plan with polylines, labels, and numbers. To the left of the drawing area, you see the structure view. Within this window, all non-graphical feature data is managed. The structure view consists of three parts. Double-click the blue excavation symbol to extend the tree. It shows, sorted by feature, find, and document, all feature objects, their polygons, and their attributes. Double-clicking the Define symbol shows the definition data for this list. Here, new classes and attributes may be created or already existing ones may be changed. Collected data may be filtered or edited using the Object Collector. This tutorial will only explain the upper part excavation. The entries marked by the red sphere symbol are classes. Available are the classes Feature, Find, and Document. Not shown in the excavation list, but existing in the definition part, there are three more classes, Area, Subarea, and Feature Polygon. Those serve as auxiliary classes for the polygons of the features and should not be deleted. Double-click Feature, and below you can see the four objects, 29, 28, 06B, and 06A. Click the entry 29 or 28 to see boundaries of the feature highlighted in the drawing. Zoom out and right-click the entry 28 of the list and select Show within the context menu. An arrow will shortly point to the corresponding label. When you select Highlight in the context menu of a feature, the area is highlighted by hatching. Note, this option is only available for classes based on area. That way, you can find the features more easily. Extend the list of finds by clicking the plus in front of the symbol. Click the F001 label in the drawing and the subentry will be extended in the structure tree. You can see the attributes of this find, e.g. its find number and description. Open feature 29 by clicking its label in the drawing. The existing attributes for the object will appear. Feature number, description, feature type, date, and surface area. Double-click find to collapse it. You may also make the attributes visible within the label. Click Feature Type Wood, Horizontal, right-click, and select Show in Label. After that, the feature type will be shown in all feature labels. Zoom into the label. These labels can be manipulated by four grips, just as common AutoCAD elements. We have the scaling of box and text, position of the box. The position of the label stays with the boundary feature area. If placed elsewhere outside the boundary, it will have influence on automatic consistency check. Ensure that it always stays within the feature boundaries. Finally, we have the angle of rotation of the box. Click Undo to return the label to the original position. Further interesting information about the objects have been saved within the links. On Feature 29, Extend Feature Has Find. Notice that two finds, F001 and F003, are linked to feature 29. Open Find Object, F001, and click the backwards link of Feature Has Find. Feature 29 is linked to F001. The next step will show you how to create a new feature. We want to gather information on the green area we see here. Right-click the Feature class. Notice the various options for adding a feature. Select Add Feature, Polylines. Follow the command prompt. Select the green, almost circular polyline. It is the feature boundary of a pit. 
Confirm your selection by pressing Enter. Click a point within the green boundary to position the label. On this dialog, you are asked for the attribute values, feature number, feature type, of the new feature. If no value is entered or changed, the standard values will be adopted. Press the right shift operator's key to slide through the attributes. In the feature description type, burial place. From the feature type list, select pit. Select old bronze age for the feature date. Since there are no further attributes, click OK. You will now find a new label in the drawing and a new feature 30 with all its attributes within the structure view. The feature class has been configured in a way that the surface area will automatically be calculated on basis of the polyline. Attributes may be adapted afterwards. The descriptions for feature 28 is flat. To change this, right-click Description Flat and select Change. Type Shallow and confirm your entry with OK. This can be done with all other attributes except for surface area because it is filled automatically and therefore has no change command in the context menu. Now, let's create a find the same way. Select a find entry, right click and select add find. Follow the command prompt to insert the label close to the cyan colored polyline within the feature. Select the cyan colored polyline. Confirm by pressing enter. We will keep the standard value of F004 the same. Press the right shift operator's key to slide through the attributes. In the feature description, type Bones. Click OK to confirm. This find is now to be linked to the previously created feature. You can use either the forward link under feature 30 or the backward link under find 5004. Select feature 30. Feature has find. Right click and select link with find. The command prompt asks to select an object. Select F004 and it will be extended on the structure view. Click the geometry and press enter to confirm. Click the label again to extend the structure view. Extend feature has find to see that feature 30 is linked to find F004. Select feature 30 and extend feature has find. Notice that find F004 is linked. Click F004 to see the find description, Bones. You may have noticed that for feature objects there is, besides the attributes, the polygons entry. Click the polygons entry and you will see the periphery area. If further polygons shall be assigned to existing features, this can be done via the context menu which is accessible by right-clicking the entry polygons. You can also use the method inner point. As built automatically generates an entry. For this example, we have enough polygons. For training purposes, you may create and edit more features and finds. You may be curious to know what the class document purpose is. Extend the class, double click document 1 and the link find has document. Notice that document 1 is linked to find F001. Look at F001. See how both objects are linked. Find F001 is a potsherd. When you open the document, you can see its type is photograph. You can attach various types of documents, not only photos. You can enter the type of attribute. Another attribute called path has the path to the specific document. In this case, it's a JPEG file. Double click the path attribute and click open. The corresponding photograph opens. Click cancel to close the dialog. Visualizations may be defined for the individual attribute values. That means that according to its attribute value, a find or feature will be hatched in a certain color or a symbol will be assigned AutoCAD block automatically. For this example, a visualization was defined for the date attribute. Notice the lower left corner of the icon is marked. Select the Home tab and unfreeze layer date within the layer list to show the visualization. The closed polygons assigned to the features have colored area fillings. If some area hatchings are in front, you can use the command Update Order of Display on the As Built Feature Date tab, Visualization Group. The order of display is arranged in a way the labels and geometry are not covered by hatchings. The dark blue filling stands for New Bronze Age, gray for New Stone Age, cyan for Old Bronze Age, etc.
For example, open any feature within the structure view and change the date attribute. When changed, notice that the area filling of the drawing will automatically be adapted to the new value. To add a legend, right-click the attribute and select Visualization. Here, we can show or hide certain attribute values. To add the legend, click the Insert Legend command. Zoom out and click beside the drawing to place the legend with all details. In this tutorial, you learned how to use the Structure View to collect and review data, capture new features and find objects, link features and finds, open linked documents, enable visualizations, and insert a legend.